G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and this is the Artist Showcase series where I look at artwork that people have sent me, that I've reviewed and some of which I feature in the video and the requirements for which getting in, aside from being hosted on Newgrounds and PM to me are uh, that they are interesting in some way or that they impress me in some way or that the artist has made some good improvements so let's get stuck into it the first piece is by artist I Am What You Fear and it's called Anthro Arcanine and I think it's really cool there's a really nice painterly quality about it I really like how the brush strokes are used and also the contrast between the warm colors and the very minimal use of the blue and the eyes it makes the balance of the overall image really well done so I think they did a great job next by artist three crazy artists is a piece called fairy tale hyphen natsu in brackets come on and uh, the the thing that impressed me about this in particular was the shell the cell shading I think that the uh, the way that they captured exactly how the light bounces off from where the flames are was really well done. Also the colour balance and framing in particular, really really good use of foreshortening and a great character facial expression there. Not totally sure what series it's from but I don't watch an uh, much anime. But don't ever hesitate to send me anime pictures, I, it's not that I don't enjoy looking at it, I just don't enjoy watching the anime videos. But I can always appreciate a really well done anime art piece like this one. Next by artist called The Inner Madness is a piece entitled Heather and uh, as they point out in the comments through I think the the way that it was converted from a, a drawn image to a digital image uh, there's like this really nice decay look about it which has just done wonders for it I think this is the kind of image uh, that works best with the lights off alone at night you know what I mean like it's just got that really cool crackly decayed feel about it kind of like something out of Silent Hill so I think that was really neat uh, also the shading is really nice I just it's the texture that gets me it's the crackling not only of the face but of the paper itself the decayed feel is really really neat so I thought I'd share that the next piece is by artist Agent Spy Monkey, and it's called Master and Padawan Star Wars 7. And this is his concept of some characters that he think would be cool in the upcoming Disney epic of Star Wars Episode 7. And I think it's really cool, and, and it's more like what he uh, explained to me in his PM to me when showing me his artwork that kind of captured my interest. The fact that uh, his passion is looking at uh, series that he loves and, and creating concept art of characters that he thinks would be good in them or you know creating his own you know stories or character arcs in, in things that he loves and I think that's really cool. It's a really clever way to improve your own uh, not only drawing skills but also inventive skills. How, how you come up with character ideas and, and environment ideas and create worlds of your own and that's a really good place to start and I think that this person who's kind of beginning in the art area of things is doing really well and that's a really cool you know really good imagination there so I think they deserve some encouragement good job next by artist mr. herbal is a piece entitled God underscore life underscore 42 and there's something about this that just gets me there's a lot of detail but it's it's like calculated detail now I'll admit I get sent a lot of pictures uh, where people try and just throw in detail and often it ends up just looking like squiggly lines but I love pic pictures like this where it's concentrated detail there's empty space but where there is lots of detail you can tell that it's meticulous you can make out all the shapes that they're trying to put in and it just looks good so this is one of those pieces that just looks good and uh, it's a clever little piece I really like how the people intertwine also just the look of things like the sun and the moon and then the heart on the tree and the brain on the tree I think that this person did a fair fantastic job check out their other artwork it's really kind of inventive sort of stuff probably a reason why this person is called mr. herbal mm. I'm not making any accusations I swear next by an artist we've featured on here several videos ago is a Stikolnikov and the picture is called the meat and this is another one of those pictures that just in such a simple efficient way just does it right uh, I can't even explain it it's so simple but just so aesthetically just awesome that I can't even explain it again one of those pictures that you need to look at in the dark alone at night where I don't know it just is I love pictures that you look at and you feel something instantly it does something and and this is one of those pictures that makes you feel watched it makes you feel surrounded uh, it communicates very clearly an atmosphere of just just a, a huge almost wasteland of the, just these creepy people uh, even things like the grass and I, I I assume that the grass was done with the Photoshop 
brush default. Correct me if I'm wrong if the artist hasn't done that, but uh, using something so simple, which I have always assumed, oh, I, I don't know how people would use that in an artwork and make it look good, but this just looks good. So I really think that this gets it right. Next by artist Toothbrush64 is called Supersonic Stereophonic. And it's a, a fun, simple little art piece with a lady with a jukebox, a boombox for a head. Uh, she says, don't say anything about it though, she's very sensitive. So there we go. Uh, nicely framed picture, really simple, really well done. Just thought I'd feature it because it's a bit quirky. And uh, th I think this person needs a bit of encouragement because I think that's a, a cute little piece to share and I want to see what else they can do. Next by artist Mobmaster is a piece entitled An Angel in the Rain. Now, admittedly, the rain could use a bit of work, but aside from that, I really like the fun quirky feel about this picture the character has really nice proportions and wings and whatever like the framing of it is really cool but overall it's just it's one of those pictures you look at and you're like you smile a little bit you know what i mean and i like pictures that get a reaction out of you like you, there are a lot of pictures where it's just a dude in a pose or someone with a sword or or you know something like that but i just i really like it when someone can pull off a picture that just makes you smile and it does a good job so i think this is one of those pictures Next by artist Sloth Swag is a piece called Daryl Dixon, and I bet you can guess what this one is about. And luckily for this person, it put it in my favour, the fact that I was watching Walking Dead about one hour ago. So, uh, hmm, that might have something to do with why it's featured. No, that's not true. This is featured because it's really well drawn. The shading, particularly in the hair, you can tell that this person took a lot of time and meticulous detail to make it stand out and look really good. The eyes are well done, and the overall framing is done. And, I mean... Most of all, it looks like the character that they've set out to draw, which is something that is, frankly, pretty hard to do right. So, good job. Next by artist B Saw is a piece entitled Deadpool's Beast Mode is On. And I'm featuring this because, I mean, aside from it being a cool picture, I've, I've been sent a few pictures that this artist has done, and this piece in particular has made some dramatic progress compared to his previous work. The proportions, the pose, the lighting, and the anatomy are all just very well done, especially considering the other pieces that I've seen of this person. I think that deserves some significant praise and encouragement because anyone who's making great progress deserves a bit of attention. So awesome job, keep it up. Next by our friendly artist Anti-Skill is a piece called It Came From Planet Mars. I swear I don't keep uh, certain artists in mind when I feature things, but uh, sometimes I just get something and it's different to things I've seen. And if it turns out it's from some artist that I've featured before, so be it. This is a really well done piece. The facial expression uh, in particular catches my attention and uh, the lighting. And I always get impressed when something's black and white and the lighting is still strong. That's something that can be hard to do right. So fantastic job. And our last and final piece for this video showcase and the winner of the Newgrounds front page piece spot thing is by artist Llama Reaper and it's called Re or Rye. I'm, not, I'm assuming you say it Re. And uh, I just have nothing but praise for this picture. It is just a standard above most of the things I get sent. It's just incredible. It almost, that painterly style, the, the way the texture and the, the strokes kind of look, it almost reminded me of Bastion, you know, that some of the art from that game. Uh, and maybe it's just the pattern of that rock thing that he's holding on to. But overall, the colors are incredible. The background and the golden meadow is amazing. Uh, it's just, I, I have nothing but praise for this image. It's fantastic. And most of all, the other artwork that this person has, go look at their stuff. Seriously, I've added them to my favorite list as long, along with this picture, and I think you should too. Go check out his stuff, because there is just nothing but good work there, seriously. So, a very, very well-deserved front page spot to artist Llama Reaper. Thank you all very much for watching this week's Artist Showcase video. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed reviewing and looking at the artwork that was sent to me. Again, I'm having trouble keeping up with all the stuff that's being sent to me, but I'm going to keep going and I want you to just keep sending me stuff. Again, limited to one per person per week, please. <laughs> Otherwise, thank you for sharing and until next time, I'll see you later. Do you want me to review your artwork and have a chance to be in a future showcase video? Upload your artwork to newgrounds.com. You can send me a link by going to jazza.newgrounds.com and click send a private message. Make sure to include the word showcase in capital letters in the message title and give me a link to your piece of art. Please be considerate of my time and understand I have a lot to get through, so please only send me one image and not a whole gallery and make sure that it's on newgrounds.com. Thanks for checking out this showcase. I look forward to seeing your art in the future.